beautiful people of the internet, how are you doing today? My name is Jackie, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today in this video I want to discuss one of my favorite summer shows, Big Brother. Now this year Big Brother is coming back for season 20, and on this past Monday the cast for season 20 was announced and I am going to give my snap judgments and first impressions of all these contestants based solely off their bios. Now Big Brother is one of my favorite shows, I am so excited for it to come back, and I know people in the past have asked me to make Big Brother videos and then it never really worked out and I'm sorry about that but this summer I definitely want to talk about Big Brother on this channel maybe do like a weekly recap of what's happening on the show and yeah I'm just really excited to talk about it with you guys because I'm obsessed with this show I've been watching it for six years my whole family loves this show we all watch it together and literally whenever Big Brother is on I have to drop whatever I'm doing and go watch Big Brother. Like even if I'm on vacation, I will make sure that I am in the hotel room at the time Big Brother is on because I have to watch it live. I just, I just have to. But like I said, in this video, I will be giving my snap judgments and first impressions off the season 20 cast based on their bios, based on their strategies, who their favorite players are, and just what I think about them based on the limited information I have. I may end up being totally wrong, but you know, it's just for fun. It's just my first impressions on these people, so let's get to it. First up, we have Steve, who is 40 years old, and he is a former undercover cop. Now, the fact that he is a former undercover cop does give me hope about him because one of my favorite players ever, Derek, was an undercover cop, and he really used this to his advantage because due to his undercover work, he knew how to manipulate people and lie to them, so that definitely gives me hope. Now, Steve is a little older for a Big Brother player. He is 40 years old. Now, this is not to say by any means that 40 years old is old. I know it's not, but for this show, it is he is the oldest person on the season because Big Brother usually has a bunch of 20 somethings and maybe a few 30 somethings but it's mostly a younger group of people however I do have some hope for Steve because of his work as a cop hopefully that means he'll be good at manipulating people but you know the fact that he is older than a lot of people on the season may make it hard for him to interact socially with them so I think he does have a pretty good chance but I don't know if he will win. He might just like stay around for several weeks and then the they just get cut, get cut. So I feel like this could go several different ways. He could be a master manipulator or he could be eliminated like in week three. It really just depends. Up next we have Sam. Now Sam is 27 years old and she is a welder and I think it is so cool that she is a female welder. It just, I don't know, she sounds so badass to me. And I will say though that Sam says she wants to win the first HOH competition and to me personally I think that is a mistake. If I was on Big Brother I would not want to win the first HOH because I feel like then you just have a huge target on your back. Everybody knows that you are someone they have to defeat and I think it's better to lay low at first and then show your strengths. So that makes me a little worried but to be honest she's the one who I got the best vibes of out of all of the female contestants this season so I do have hope for her obviously we've only seen the bios so time will tell but right now she is the female competitor who I feel the best about this year. Up next we have Haley and she is 21 years old and a college student. At first glance she comes off as a very pretty Texas girl and I hope that she is not an Aaron Grease type because Aaron is my least favorite Big Brother player ever. So hopefully Haley is not at all like her. Like at first glance they look kind of similar which made me a little nervous. However I do have hope for Haley because she says her favorite Big Brother player is Derek who is one of my favorite players as well and that she is a psychology major so maybe she could use some reverse psychology on the other contestants to manipulate them. However I feel like everybody in theory wants to be Derek but not everybody actually can be Derek. Like I know that if I was in Big Brother. Derek is the person I would want to be but I don't actually have the skills to do what he did and so just because that is like her favorite player we'll have to see if she actually can use those same skills. Up next we have Casey who is 30 years old and she is a pro football player which again I just think is so badass that she's a female pro football player because football is a very male dominated sport so I think that's really awesome and I definitely think she could be a good physical competitor but she says she plans to lay low first which like I said before is I think a good strategy. My concern with her is that she says her favorite player is Cody from last season and I don't like Cody at all. 
Um, I feel like people only like Cody because they didn't like Paul, so they kind of like felt like because the two of them were opposed, they had to be on Team Cody. But I don't think Cody really has any merits by himself. So hopefully Casey will have a much better social game than he did and she'll play better with others because that's an important part of the game as well. Then there's Tyler, who is a 23-year-old lifeguard, and looking at his bio, my thought was just that he is going to be a David Gerton 2.0, so I'm not really excited about that. I hope that Tyler proves me wrong and that he actually isn't a dumb surfer type, but he actually is really smart. However, looking at his bio, that's just the impression that I got of him. He also kind of reminds me of Jace, so I don't think he's going to last very long. He is definitely my pick to get eliminated very, very early in the competition. I hope he proves me wrong though. Then there's Bailey, who is a 25 year old flight attendant. Now Bailey's favorite player is Donnie. And while I love Donnie too, like as a person, he did not have a great strategy. And Bailey basically says that she just wants to be Miss Congeniality and get along with people. And I just don't think that's like the right strategy for Big Brother. Like you can't win just by being everybody's friend. Like I think she's just going to end up being a floater. And I also think if there's a person in this cast who is the most likely to have a showmance, Bailey is my pick for that. So I don't think I'm going to like her very much. I think she's just gonna be a floater possibly in a showmance and I don't like floaters or showmances so I'm not a huge fan of Bailey after the reading the bio. And there's Caitlin who is a 24 year old life coach and her bio was basically her talking about like crystals and zen and all these things so basically she just sounds nuts to me and she said she knows she's going to win because she has projected it into the universe and I just don't understand like any of, she just sounds crazy to me to be honest and I don't think you can win Big Brother just by like meditating and trying to spread positive energy. Like no, I want to see you stab someone in the back. I want you to see, see you get the blood on your hands. That's what I as a viewer like to see and I don't think you can win just because you know you meditated on it. Like I don't, it doesn't work that way. I, I'm like I don't, I, no, I'm not a fan. Up next, we have Winston, who is 28 years old and a medical sales rep, and ooh, where do I begin? First off, Winston. Winston is a snack, okay? I think he's cute, and Winston says that he wants to gain people's trust, like Paul did, and then use it against him, but he wants to learn from Cody's mistakes last season and not play too hard too fast. Like I said before, I think that is definitely important. You can't play too hard too fast. You have to ease into it and, you know, start backstabbing people at the right moment because if you go too early then people are going to catch on to you and you're going to be a threat and you're going to go home. So I do have hopes for Winston. I really hope that he can have a really good strategy and be someone that I can root for. Also, I think he's cute. So that's always a bonus, you know? <laughs> then there is Angie, who is a 34-year-old stay-at-home mom who goes by the nickname Rockstar. And I think that's our first hint that Angie is weird. Um, I, I just, there's something really kooky and off about this lady. Her, one of her favorite players is Joey, who is eliminated first in her season after she tried to start an all-girls alliance and then openly admitted she tried to start an all-girls alliance, which is a very stupid move. And other than that, she really likes Frankie Grande, who I couldn't stand. I think Frankie is really irritating. So if she is anything like Frankie, she is going to get on my nerves all season long. And in her bio, she also mentions uh, her use of crystals. So maybe she can be best friends with crazy Caitlyn and the two of them can form an alliance and annoy me all summer long. There is JC, who is a 28 year old pro dancer. And I had some thoughts about JC that I wrote down, but honestly, I can't even like form a co coherent thought in relation to him anymore because when I was looking through the BB20 hashtag, 
I saw a video of JC that someone found on the internet that I wish I could erase from my memory. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it and consider yourself lucky, I'll just say it involves some inappropriate things being done to a minion. You know, those little yellow guys. And I wish I'd never seen it. And I just, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this guy now. Like, I just... I, I just can't with him. I can't. Like, I'm scarred for life after seeing that in the BB20 hashtag. Like, I just thinking, like, I don't even want to talk about him anymore because it's making me think about it and I just want to move on. <laughs> now we have Brett, a 25 year old cybersecurity engineer who says that he likes to hack into his friend's computers for fun. He says that his favorite player is Derek, who again is one of my favorite players. But you know, in theory, everyone wants to be Derek and not everyone can be. And he says his strategy is to play dumb and then get people to confide things in him, which he can use to plant seeds of doubt among the other house guests. And you know, after reading Brett's bio, he's just very meh to me. Like he could be great or he could just be very, very basic. And I think, you know, we just have to watch and see how it'll play out. I don't have very strong feelings about him either way after reading his bio. Next we have Angela, who is a 26 year old fitness model. Now Angela says that other women are very much intimidated by her and that automatically irritates me. Like, I just don't like women like that who like sort of put down other women or think they're better than other women. Like, oh, other women hate me because they can't beat me, can't be me. Like, it's just, it's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, I think she could be a great physical competitor, but my prediction for her is that she's going to align with pretty much all guys, and the guys are gonna be loyal to the other guys, and they'll probably cut Angela at the first chance they get. So, yeah, I feel like she's gonna be a middle-of-the-pack competitor. Next we have Scotty, who is a 26-year-old shipping manager. Now, when I first looked at Scotty's photo, the first person who popped to my mind was Andy Heron, who was from BB15? Yes, 15, I think. Or maybe even like Cameron Hurd, who was on last season and got evicted first. Those are the people that like came to mind when I was looking at his photo. So I was pleasantly surprised when Scotty said that his favorite player is Evil Dick. <laughs> so who knows? Scotty could turn out to actually be like a super ruthless Dark Horse candidate. And I'm going to keep my eye on him because I'm a little bit intrigued. Up next is Faisal. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. I'm assuming it's Faisal, but we'll see when the show actually premieres. I might be butchering his name, I'm sorry. He's a 26 year old substitute teacher. And to be completely honest, reading his bio, he made no impression on me at all. Like, I have no sense of who he is after reading the bio. It just seemed so generic. Like, I. I don't know. I think he's just going to be a boring middle of the pack competitor. Like after reading his bio, I have no impression of him. I have no feelings about him. I'm just meh. Like that's it. <laughs> Up next we have Rachel who is a 29 year old Vegas entertainer. I don't know what Vegas entertainer means exactly. Is she like a singer? Is she like a stripper? I don't really know what that means. And Looking at her, she instantly reminded me of Natalie Negrati or Victoria. And, oh, hello. Hello. Okay. So anyways, I just think Rachel is probably going to be a floater. Um, that's just the impression I get off her. I mean, it's kind of a superficial impression, but you know. I mean, I'm just judging her based on her bio. Like, she didn't see, come across to me as someone who's going to be, like, really ruthless or tenacious or... I just think she's going to be a middle of the pack competitor again. Our last contestant is Chris, who is a 23 year old day trader. I don't even know what a day trader is. Like what, what is that? I, I have to Google it. I have never heard of a day trader before. What does that mean? But Chris refers to himself by the nickname Swaggy C. And as soon as I saw that, like I just thought a hole. I'm sorry, but anyone who gives himself a nickname like Swaggy C like must have this huge ego. He says his favorite player is Paul, who, wow, Paul was a good strategist. He also has a huge ego. And the one thing is though, Chris Swaggy C said that he has a strategy, but he doesn't want to share it. And that either could be a smart move or it could just mean that he doesn't have a strategy and he doesn't want to share it. 
So, I don't know. Okay, everyone, so those are the 16 announced house guests for Big Brother 20. Out of these 16 house guests, which one do you have the best feeling of based on their bios? Who do you think has the best chance of winning? Who do you already not like? Also, do you think there will be any returning players this season? I know they said there wouldn't be, but there's been at least one returnee for the past several years, so I'm a little suspicious about that. I kind of hope there isn't a returnee, but we'll have to see, I guess. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Big Brother videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!